if a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there. There's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, then we're one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. Welcome to Fear Factor, where we push real people to their absolute limits with stunts that challenge their most primitive fears. I'm Joe Rogan, and tonight, you're gonna see Fear Factor like you've never seen it. We're gonna show you our most outrageous moments, from heights, to water, to hard hits, to the most disgusting things you could possibly imagine. Now remember, these stunts were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. Do not try these at home. Acrophobia is the fear of heights, and almost every contestant on Fear Factor suffered from some form of it. So what did we do? We flung them, threw them, and dropped them from buildings, beams, cranes, and cars. Here's a look at some stunts that will make your head spin. Are you afraid of heights? Oh my god. Over 100 feet. 120 feet. 150 feet in the air. Look how high that is. Nuts. Anybody afraid of heights? I hate heights. The vertical hanging car. It's gonna be lifted over 150 feet in the air. You're gonna climb out onto the hood. You're gonna climb all the way out to the trunk. You're gonna climb back over the car, in through the driver's side window. As if that doesn't suck enough, we're gonna make it rain on you. So it's gonna be slippery. You must be very careful and watch your footing. Any last words? Like, help! Oh, do not look down. I'm okay. There's the water. Go! I can't do this. I'm gonna fall. I'm about to fall. Oh, yeah. I'm about to fall. I'm gonna go back in, in the car. I'm quitting. Oh. I'm quitting right now. I fell, man. I hate heights. I'm, I'm scared out of my tree. Really? Yeah, I hate heights. Is I that your them. biggest fear? Yeah, I wouldn't want to say anything to these guys, but I'm scared out of my mind. Go! It's different job there. I told you I don't like heights. Oh, yeah. I almost threw up like three times. All you have to do is get your foot in that driver's side door and you win the money. It doesn't feel good. That's for sure. Yeah, this is nervous. You get it, Nick? You are gonna be hung by your ankles over 130 feet up in the air on that crane. When you get over that target, you're gonna drop a bean bag. Okay, it's getting a little high. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my nice! God. You did good. I'm not faking, it is scary. All right, guys, I'm nice and strapped in, right? You know, I don't even wanna watch. Bye, guys. It's going, dude! As long as I get over my fear of heights, I'm cool. There he goes. Oh, no! Edward! Edward! Here he comes. Look at him. 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 Oh, wow. Whoa! 
You're gonna climb that 110 foot tower so you get to that platform. And you will leap twice your body length over to that cargo net. Are you okay, baby girl? That is the smallest platform. Oh my god. Why am I looking down? Get ready, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it, dude. Come on, man. There you go. I'm walking the valley. The shadow of death. I should feel no evil. This is crazy. Oh, he got it! He got it with one hand. Oh, girl! Woo! How the hell did I get myself into this? Here she goes. Here she goes. traverse from this rooftop here to the other rooftop on top of this rope. It is over 100 feet in the air. If you fall under the rope and are still hanging on, you can continue. However, you will be assessed a two-minute penalty. 219 with the penalty. Yeah, baby! Ready to do this? I'm getting along now. That's her time. Slow down low when you get on there! 149! This is it, where all your trash talking comes to a head. She's almost there. And how do you feel, man? Look at her Not foot. stoked. floor there's no airbag so the only thing keeping you from a face-to-face -face meet and greet with the concrete is a little quarter inch piece of cable you ready yeah swing out oh, oh my god my foot plenty of time you got a minute you How scared of heights are you, man? Ooh, pretty scared. Is that your number one fear? Probably. Oh, oh man! Oh. <laughs> are you afraid of heights? Yeah. Yeah? OK, wait till you stabilize. Challenge, please. The beam walk. You will be over 100 feet in the air. That beam is six and a half inches wide. You will walk from one end of the beam to the other end. Pick up a flag. Walk all the way back to where you started from and post the flag. Oh my God. Oh my God, she's going to do wow. it. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, man. Look at her, she's using the flag. Yeah! Yes! yes! It's shaking! Dude! You ready, Ari? Thirty seconds. Gina, he's beating you. Oh my god, he's beating you. Oh my god, Ari is beating you. It's really kind of freaky to me because there's just this one little bolt that's holding the whole yeah. thing. Look at Pete move! 
15 seconds! Oh my god, he's gonna win! Oh, 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 oh! Oh my, oh my god! god. Stay tuned for the most outrageous moments of Fear Factor. And later, the grossest scenes you can't bear to watch. If I had to imagine what a testicle would taste like, that is exactly what it would be. Nothing freaks people out like water. The threat of drowning, the disorientation, claustrophobia. Let's take a deep breath and dive into the waters of Fear Factor. This is what's known in magic circles as a water torture cell. You're all gonna be bound and hung by your ankles. Then you're gonna be lowered head first into this tank of water. The person that can hold the breath the longest is gonna walk away with $50,000. This is the worst possible thing you could have made me do. Really? Yes, because I can't hold my breath. man.
$50,000. Yes! Julius, you all set? All set. When you see the red light, unstrap yourself and climb in the back seat. You must come through the front window. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's try, baby. There he goes. He can do it. He's all right. Oh, no. Get out the wrong window. Julius, you're eliminated. You ran through the wrong window. Dad, this is for you. I'm going to give myself a little chatter here to get fired up. What do you say, hey, what do you say, come babe, come now, what do you say, kid, you the one kid, what do you say now, rocket fire, here we go now, what do you say, home babe, home now, come babe, come now, what do you say, what do you say, hey, now, what do you say, kid, come now, rocket fire now, babe. Can we get a medic? Fear Factor style. But next, oh. the closest scenes that shock the country. Oh, they're waiting me! Here at Fear Factor, we have a guy whose one and only job is to dream up the grossest, nastiest stunts imaginable with things like rats, sheep's eyeballs, buffalo testicles, and bugs. I think you know where we're going with this one, and you might want to grab a bucket. Buffalo testicles. Live beetles, oh, sheep's oh, eyes. Oh. The snake pit. Live crickets, the rat pit. Worms. Oh, oh. oh man. Ah. If you try to swallow them whole, they will try to climb back up your throat and climb back out. This is the most disgusting thing. Oh, you got a leg dangling out of your mouth. Oh, nice. Yeah. For today's stunt, you were going to lie covered up to your head. Oh, my gosh. But in these worms, over 300,000 worms. Some of you may have to eat them. You must completely eat, chew, and swallow the worm. Man, how do you feel about this? Sick. What about eating one? I don't think I can. Yeah, you can do it for 50 grand for your vegetarian restaurant? Yeah. Why are you crying? It sucks. It's worse. Are you all right? Yeah. You're losing it here. Yeah. It's paper. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -oh. What do you got? <laughs> Eat no worms, baby. Eat no worms. <sighs> all right, let's bring in the worms. Oh. Biting? Constantly biting. Does it hurt? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you reach over? Grab a piece of paper. Let me see what the paper is. They're in there. Just reach in. Oh, please. I will. <laughs> You're gonna have to just dig your hands in there. Don't wipe it on me. Don't wipe it on you. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. But... You're, you're prolonging your agony by making this last longer. <sighs> yeah. I oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're so slimy. I don't think so. I'm scared. There you go. Much better. Reach in there and oh. grab 
the piece of paper. It's all in your mind. Listen, there you go. There you go. All right, tell you what. That's the piece of paper, right? I'll open it for you. Eat one worm. Sorry, I can't. You're out? Well, that's it. You're definitely not going to do it? I can't eat a worm. All right. Well, thank you very much for being on our game. We're going to have to send you walking. OK. abandoned warehouse. Not exactly the kind of place you want to wind up alone after dark. However, it's not really abandoned. It's actually got about 400 residents here. We like to call this stunt the rat pit. For your next stunt, you're going to be strapped into place and then covered with these 400 rats. And you must lie there for four minutes. All right, strap them in place. OK, let's bring in the rats. They stick. I can hear them breathing in my ears. Unstrap them. There you go. Talk about being determined to win. What's going on, man? My oh, man's eating himself. Did they bite you anywhere? Where are you? Oh, my oh. That's a bite? They're not even in here, and I can yeah, feel it. Oh, OK, bring in the rats. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. They're biting me. Ow! You're OK. Ah! They're biting me. Ow! Oh, oh my Relax. God. Oh, my God. A lot of stuff, but mentally, mentally I, I can't. Because if I want to lay down with rats, I can stay at home and, go <laughs> and lay down with rats. You gonna quit? Yeah, I'm out. Really? Yeah. Quit. Rats, I, I don't feel like even need to be here. It's like, you know, they have no purpose on the earth. Are you in or out? Are you gonna quit? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Okay, bring in the rats. Oh, nice. You scream out loud, Carlisle's gonna hear you. There you go. Ah! Ah! Ow! Three, two, one. Get him out of there. You did it, Nick. You had some screams of horror in there. <laughs> You will have to consume three oh. sheep's oh. eyes. Oh. <laughs> Got a chip. Oh man! Don't don't toss me. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Chuck, dude. Oh. Are you kidding? Oh, you're good. This Come is on, man. Hard. Just light him up with me. Did you get an eyelash? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's like, yeah. One more mic. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold it. Get it down. Just get it down, Laura. Oh. Hold on. Are you going to talk? No. What are you talking? What are you talking? Take a massage. <laughs> All right, Laura, look at me. Open your mouth. Let's see turn that down. That was hard for me, and I don't even have to eat one. The number you got will be the exact amount of live crickets you have to eat. The number of pins that are standing will represent the number of live beetles you will have to eat. Six. Okay. Hold that down. Hold that. Two. Oh, oh, yummy! Oh! Oh, 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 my God. Number two. Oh, oh my God. No, it's going out. It's going out. You ready for number two? That's one. Go for it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 
This next stunt right. is called the snake pit. You will be covered by two dozen snakes strapped in so you cannot move. You ready? OK, let's bring in the snakes. Oh. If one of them wraps around your neck, let us know you can't handle it. My neck's a little tight. Well, if one of them wraps on, honestly, let us know. Honestly, because my neck's a little tight. Check his neck. You are going to have to eat two buffalo testicles. You will have four minutes. Ready? <laughs> Probably not what I would have chosen. I mean, my mom never made these growing up. I'm oh, done. If I had to imagine what a testicle would taste like, that is exactly what it would be. I'm a texture girl. <laughs> I'm a texture girl. I can't eat raw clams. That's the most disgusting thing. Oh, my god. <laughs> That's it? Mm hmm I'm, like, gagging. You ready for this? <sighs> this is for all my brothers in Africa. <laughs> Open. You good? There's all sorts of martinis. There's a dry martini, vodka martini, apple martini. This is a different kind of martini. This is a fear factor martini. It's five parts earthworms and one part superworm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. Just grab them and put them in there. You can still eat them. You still have time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Hi, baby. Hang in there, Will. You can do it, dude. Outstanding, Douglas. There you go. You got it, girl. You saw how Doug did it. <coughs> you can do it, Will. Take control of yourself. Put him down. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. You've already got him in your mouth. All you have to do is take him down. There you go. There you go. Come on. No. How much time? There you go, honey. Hold them in, hold them in. Hold it! I did it! Hold Whoa! on. Oh my god, I'll never get a date after this. Stay tuned for blood, sweat, and tears. Oh my god! Fear Factor style. Here on Fear Factor, safety is our number one priority. We have some of the best safety and stunt people in the business that oversee each and every move we make. However, when people get dragged, dropped, bumped, and bitten, sometimes they get a little beat up. Let's take a look at blood, sweat, and tears, Fear Factor style. Once you fire that 
starter's pistol, a trained attack dog will take you out. I got a big bruise, like, in three places on my arm. Oh, my gosh. It didn't hurt at the time, but now it's, like, swelling up. I mean, there's a, there's a bump there really bad. That dog is big and he's gonna hit him hard. for an experience like no other. You're gonna lie down holding onto a rope that's harnessed to these two horses. They're gonna take off at about 35 miles an hour. They're gonna drag you through the mud and you must hang on until you cross that finish line way down there about 100 yards. Shirt off. Oh, a little scratch. Yeah, a little scratch. That's no. all right, though. It's all right. They just burn so bad, though. Yeah, just feel like somebody just like taking a little razor blades and like slitting you. Ooh, you're bleeding. I know. We all gonna bleed. We all gonna bleed. All right, dude. How was it? No matter how it hurts or what you do, yeah, I take people's finger off. That's a good one. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're gonna hook you up to a cable and hoist you over 120 feet in the air. You're gonna come hurling down towards the earth at over 50 miles an hour. At your lowest point, you're gonna come crashing through that wooden sign down there. It's quite an impact. It felt like a car accident or something. I'm going. Oh, oh you got dude. Oh. You will walk from one end of the beam to the other end. You will pick up a flag, walk all the way back to where you started from, and post the flag. Man, you all right? Yeah. Oh, you grabbed the pole? Can we get a medic? He's bleeding. Hey, can we get him out of his harness? He's bleeding. Oh, my God. Dude, you're painful. It's fine. Honest to God. It's, it's a little slice. You're going to jump from the top of this speeding truck to the roof of the other truck. Your chin? Oh, you got a little bloody lip. You will climb off the back of the water bike onto the skid of the helicopter and pull yourself inside the helicopter. the wind knocked out of me. You're gonna climb over the car, in through the driver's side window, and we're gonna make it rain on you. Go! Nice. Yeah, I tried to catch myself. So I should've, I should've took my time. I should've took my time, I definitely got it. Next, the best trash talking of Fear Factor. Friends are watching. Like what? Family's watching. What you think about that? <laughs> is not always physical, it's a mental game as well, and our contestants wasted little time bringing their attitudes to this show. Let's take a look at some of the best smack-talking moments of Fear Factor. And they got attitude, have you noticed that? Don't do it! Don't fall! Your mama! Jerk! 
Now I want you to remember that this is a game, so some strategy will come into play. Feel free to play off each other's fears, mess with each other's minds. Gamesmanship is always welcome. Always welcome. Gamesmanship is always appreciated here. These are not your friends. These are your opponents. These are people you're competing against for $50,000. You are out to win. You don't care what they think. They think you're crazy, you know. <laughs> they do. Hey, you gotta go like this. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I believe that my manners are much more refined than my friend here. <laughs> Nobody's gonna get hurt. I think she might start to cry. <laughs> you want the Bible? Bottom line, I like you all. I have friends. The girls are scared because they don't think they're gonna be able to pull themselves up. I don't have to respond to someone that doesn't know what they're talking about. This is not the Boy Scouts. This is not let's all get to the rat pit together and hold each other's hands. Let's all get across the big obstacle and have a great time. One person's walking out. The money's in my pocket. Any questions? Can I punch him in the stomach right before he goes to? What? Huh? What? Huh? what? It's it's pretty far. Thanks, guys. <gasps> I'm kicking ass. Give it to me, give it to me. I'm not getting a little pansy puppy that you got. Yeah, you got that pansy puppy. You got puppy, the pansy man. puppy. <laughs> What'd you think about that? I think he said a little prayer in the bathroom, too. I didn't think he had to go to the bathroom either. He went. This one could definitely kill and eat your they ass. All crush it. Friends are watching. Family's watching. Who do you guys think is not going to make it tomorrow? <laughs> Sophia? Her. Please tell Veronica she when she loses. Oh, it's going to be tough. No, it's going to be tough. I mean, she's going to be boo horn, you know. It's like, and what's your name again? Okay, honey. Oh, it's going to be tough. It's all about the dollars. You know, there's only one winner here. Girl, and it's me. No. <laughs> she can do whatever she want to do. I'm still going to be the only one left with the boys. Uh -oh. Damn, that's going to really suck when you bounce off the side of that truck. Look at it go. Fifty grand in my hand because I am the man. Like what? It's no fun just defeating one person. It's more fun to defeat three. Check you out. <laughs> you think you're gonna defeat these guys? Three and men too. Three you men. Think? Three big strapping men you defeated by defeat a them? little girl. Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh. Oh, yeah! Woo! I'm not scared of a man. Is this a girl boy thing? I think anybody's gonna quit. I'm gonna try to make them. I'm not worried about it being bit. They're gonna be snuggling up your warm body. They find all the warm spots. They do, every crevice. Dangling oh, from that. 120 feet <laughs> with nothing to support you but a little half inch thread. It won't bother you. It won't. Good. I thought that maybe you were nice since you're not very good looking, but I was wrong. Oh. <laughs> I know how tight. Stinks. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. It's gonna be a walk in the park. Right? You see the finish line? Exactly. It's right there. Woo! I cannot believe I didn't go any further than that. I hope she falls because she's the smack dog going to eat her. Uh, well, this is for all you people who are against me. I'm not going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> right now, the middle name is better. That's so wrong. Think it's having an effect? Yeah, he's, he's getting scared now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's getting scared. I think he'll drop it early. He's he's gonna... As you can see with this show, almost anything goes. And with all this trash talking going around, of course, I had to mix it up a little bit myself. You gotta strategize. See, you don't have the benefit of watching other people screw up first, that's either. That's true. Mm. So you've had heights? Um, a little. A little? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a little high. Uh, yeah. This is great. This is great. <laughs> Force yourself. Grand. Pick up the pace! You gotta toughen up. Get in there, Trip. What are you gonna live forever? Come on! It's a game. It's nothing. Ah, oh, come on, you'll be fine. It's gonna be fun. You tell your grandkids about it someday. Right. Oh. It's just gonna suck a little. You already it's suck. Suck a lot! And how bad does this suck? This really sucks. If that doesn't suck enough, don't fall! What do you think? What are the odds? You confident? Pretty good. That you're gonna fall? <laughs> <laughs> what if you fall down and you don't make it to the end and Ari did? That's gotta suck. It'll suck. Look at him, dude. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Boys on I'm the force back home here, in Chicago right? aren't really gonna be able to handle that I too well. I won't be able to go home. Yeah, what are you baby. thinking right now? I'm ready to rock. You ready to take this? I ain't come all the way down here. I hear you. I do not. Chicago. So you think you're gonna walk away with the 50 grand at the end of three days? 
Yes. Yes, look at that. Confidence. He's not messing around. No. He's here for the cash. Wendy, you fill a medal. Look at you, you psycho. Look at her ear. Natural would be nervous. Wouldn't you be nervous doing this? I'd be psyched. Oh! 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 Screams of horror in there. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. I'm like, Dude, what are they doing? They're eating his brain. <laughs> oh, it's just open. Don't open your mouth while you chew. Didn't your mother ever tell you? It's bad manners. I'm sizing that dog up, trying to get in his head. This is his head. Ready? Yeah. Bite, yeah. kill, sleep. Yeah, it's going through his mind right now. I don't think he's such a good swimmer. Look at the pain on his face. <laughs> You gotta be 40 seconds or the pigtail wearing, hip hop dancing, toe sock dude from San Francisco beats the big tough boxing cop from Chicago. What are you oh. scared of? Nothing! You're crazy. <laughs> How you feeling, man? You a little nervous now? It's crunch time? It's crunch time. You know, crunch time, you shoot it up. What are you thinking now? Does peeing my pants count as uh, being scared? <laughs> no, that's good. It throws them off. It's simple. What are you thinking right now? What am I thinking? You ask me that every time. I'm yeah, thinking that's of my dying. job. I'm thinking of falling. My job I'm is to get inside your head. Believe the people at home. Oh my god, what's that? She won't hit the target. You don't think so? No, she's hitting water. Really? Hitting water. What's water. your name again? Mr. Clean, kick some ass. You can back out right now. You want to back out? You don't have to. You can back out right now. Yeah, I know I could. You're ready to leap and bound. Okay. Let's go! Remind me not to go to Ben's house for a sleepover. <laughs> I put lotion all over my body this morning. It was like honey cocoa butter lotion. Oh, yeah, it was good stuff. Something tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about flying? I can't really think about it if you keep talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry. You have 30 seconds. Shut up. Come on, Talise. Shut up. If you want, you can come back in. Shut up, Joe. OK. So why do our contestants go through all this? To challenge their fears, to have a little fun, and let's face it, $50,000 ain't so bad either. You win. You won. You just won $50,000. You won. No way. Yeah. with the guts. All right, let's do this. Win the glory. <laughs> Fear Factor. Back-to-back -back episodes continue next, only on Schiller. Scare Tactics. Back-to-back -to -back episodes. Tomorrow, starting at 7. Only on Schiller. Scary Good.